And here's the first of four theorems that we'll encounter in this section that relate arcs and chords. And in this one we see here, if, um, well, in the case of this particular circle, if the two minor arcs, the red and the blue, are congruent, their associated chords are congruent as well. Overlap them, we can see it clearly. And all of these theorems are going to apply to relationships with the same circle or in congruent circles, case may be. So this would apply as well. And we're going to do a proof of this one and a couple exercises with it. Let's move on. So let's prove this theorem that relates these chords to the associated arcs. And well, we've, we're going to start with this right here. We'll start with these two. That's our given, that these two chords are congruent. And we'll prove that the arcs associated DC and AB are congruent as well. So we could have drawn this drawing a lot of different ways. The figure could have overlapped. And we can see the congruence like this. But let's draw it simply here so that we can write a proof very effectively. Our next line we'll put in. Well, we certainly know that all the radii of a circle are congruent. And from that, we can see congruent triangles. And since, well, actually, we could label these triangles in different directions. They're both isosceles triangles. But all we want to know in this case is that the two different colored triangles are congruent. And they will be congruent by side, side, side. Well, if the triangles are congruent, then all their corresponding parts are congruent. As we used to write the acronym, CPCTC, or if you prefer, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And there we're just about finished. We'll come to our conclusion, which says that the two arcs, and that would be AB, is con arc, well, AB is congruent to arc CD. And the reason is that if congruent central or central angles are congruent, then their intercepted arcs are congruent. And we're done. And now we'll prove the converse of the previous theorem. And this is number 28 in your textbook as well. So this time again, we're going to start with, well, these two minor arcs being congruent. And that's my given. And from that, I, I can then say, well, these central angles are congruent. Same as we did in the previous argument. We all know that all radii of circle are congruent. And right away, you see congruent triangles. And this time, it looks like side angle side. And there you go. And we're just about done our conclusion then that these two sides are congruent and of course by corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And we're finished. Well, let's make use of this new theorem and we're going to find the measure of this red arc here. So we can see we've got this a circle and since all three of these color, different colored arcs are additive, I know that Together, these two arcs must make 232 degrees. That would be the major arc, ABD. And I know that 34 and 34 are the same. So equal measures makes the segments congruent. And if these segments are congruent, then by our most recent theorem, I know my two arcs are, con are congruent as well. And then I can find the measures simply by dividing by 2. And we're done.